Inquisitor, come have a drink. To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Mm, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Tarsidathan Halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well, as much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here, your turn. That thing you just said. You shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be, I will bring myself sexual pleasure later while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us? I know, right? Mm. Oh. <coughs> yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi. The Glorious Ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Kanari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more... dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, um, the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> ...spoke to me. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. <laughs> nice. To dragons! <laughs> mm. To the Iron Bowl. And his ass-kicking Inquisitor. Hey, hey, Kadan, listen. I always want to say this, and I never can when we're off saving the world. You've got a fantastic ass. Ah. The funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. What can I do for you? I have something for you. Really? Well, I think I've got something for you, too. Come on, I'll go first. There we go. No Inquisition. No war. Nothing outside this room. Just you and me. So, what do you want to talk about? Sorry to disturb your rest, Inquisitor, but our fortif- uh, Oh, sweet maker. Cullen, how's it going? Is the Inquisitor awake? I thought perhaps we- oh. Can I help either of you with something? I, I I'm so sorry. I cannot move my legs. Is something the matter? Ah! Oh, for fuck's sake. Do you see this? 
No. So, I take it... <laughs> Actually, he's the one who's been taking it. <laughs> I apologize for interrupting what I assume was a momentary diversion. Nothing wrong with having a bit of fun. Who wouldn't be a little curious? This is more than just a momentary diversion, and Bull and I intend to continue. Is that a problem? No. Not at all. A surprise, I'll admit. But not a problem. We'll leave you be. Yes. Do enjoy yourselves. <sighs> you okay, boss? No. I didn't say Kato, but here you've stopped anyway. But since we have a moment... What's that? A dragon's tooth, split in two. So no matter how far apart life takes us, we're always together. Not often people surprise me, Kadan. Kadan? Kadan. My heart. Kadan. What are you doing? Listening. Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool like Aunt Eloise's pond, lips scalded as I sip, warmth blossoms, first kiss in the barn, what was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills, Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry, five more minutes, my fault. Can you listen to anyone's mind like you did hers? No, they have to need me. Pain, fear, sadness, guilt, anger, hurt. Things I can fix. Can you do something for her? Yes. It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. You can't save all of them. What? Like Pierre getting sick after you snuck out to Aunt Eloise's pond. You want it to be your fault, so there's a reason and it's not so frightening. But there is no reason. Pierre just got sick. The soldier was never going to live. It wasn't your fault. Better. She doesn't blame herself anymore? Not as much. It was bouncing around inside her, closing up into a ball of wrong. Now it's open. She'll get it out. Well done. Thank you for letting me help her. It's not how a person would do it. But it helped. That's what matters. place to save lives. What could be more important?
Situation requires the guests attention. are on their way. Visitor. The last noble chancellor is discovered in the city and of Jade is not spreading color. accusations that you're responsible for the divine's death. They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the breach devouring the sky. Even in Jader, it may win you a few admirers. What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with. But I wonder if the Grand Clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be divine died at the Conclave. The ones remaining were not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jader I'm not a monster in disguise. Excellent. I believe there is much to be gained by winning them over. You read the report? It was unusual. Is he always so blunt? <laughs> yes. Any news on rifts beyond reach of the Inquisition? Yes. And it is not good. All right. 